Welcome to the kaleidoscope of the sea, where the parrotfish reigns as the Picasso of the ocean depths. First up, those chompers. Parrotfish are named for their beak-like jaws, perfect for nibbling on their favorite snack, coral. But they're not just coral connoisseurs, they're also unwitting sand artists of the sea. As they grind the coral into fine particles, they excrete it as sand, contributing significantly to the beautiful white beaches we all love. Each parrotfish is a little sand factory, producing up to 840 pounds of these tiny grains every year. But their talents don't stop there. The parrotfish is a true chameleon of the sea, boasting a wardrobe that constantly changes with bold hues and patterns. It's a fashion show that never ends, with each fish displaying a unique combination of vibrant colors. But it's not just about the looks. Parrotfish are also gender fluid, switching from female to male as the tides turn. It's a remarkable adaptation strategy that helps ensure the survival and diversity of their species. And when the sun sets, the parrotfish slips into something a bit more unconventional. Instead of pulling up a cozy blanket, they envelop themselves in a mucus cocoon. Picture it as a snug bubble wrap, only a bit slimier. This ingenious bedtime routine serves a vital purpose. It acts as their personal anti-predator bubble wrap. The scentless mucus cocoon masks their presence, keeping those pesky night hunters at bay. And while they sleep snugly by day, they are busy eco-warriors. Parrotfish are the unsung heroes of the underwater world, tirelessly working to keep coral reefs vibrant and thriving. You see, these fish are voracious eaters of algae, the main competitor of coral. By feasting on the algae, parrotfish give the corals a chance to flourish thus maintaining the delicate balance of the marine ecosystem. But their social lives are just as fascinating. Come spawning season, it's like Mardi Gras under the sea. Parrotfish gather in large groups, a spectacle known as spawning aggregations. This is not just a party, it's a vital part of their life cycle, ensuring the survival of their species. However, these gatherings also make them vulnerable, turning these technicolor parties into prime hunting grounds. These gatherings are crucial for their reproduction, yet they're also a time of vulnerability, making our rainbow fish a target for overfishing. So, the next time you wiggle your toes in warm, soft sand, thank a parrotfish for the ground beneath your feet, then don't keep it to yourself. Click that subscribe button for more sensational stories from You Don't Know What You Don't Know. Feel free to share your thoughts, hit like if you've fallen for the charm of the parrotfish, and remember there's always more to learn. And now you know, Stay curious.